SLAs or service level agreements more or less run the tech business world and often the responsibility of maintaining those contractual obligations comes down to SREs, individual engineers, uh, DevOps engineers, and, and other technical folks. And so we really need good tooling and uh, indicators to help us understand how well we are maintaining those. So in this video today, we're going to talk about what SLAs are. I think we all have a pretty good definition, but I won't assume, otherwise I wouldn't be filming this. Uh, what SLOs are, service level objectives, and then what SLIs are, service level indicators. But before that though, some quick introductions. My name is Forrest. I am a senior sales engineer over here at Lightstep. Truly blessed to be working here on the best observability product ever built, but enough patting ourselves on the back. Let's get into it. So SLAs, service level agreements, what are they? These are essentially contracts, right? So if I want to purchase some service, uh, it might be the utilization of some API that provides me real-time stock quotes. Uh, I'm going to expect that the availability of my real-time stock quotes are one real-time, right? So in my contract, I'm going to want to make sure that I have during market hours the ability uh, to get quotes in real-time. If you are a customer of Lightstep, you might expect to be able to log into our platform uh, at least during your day-to-day -day business hours so that you can understand how your system is performing and use the uh, next level insights that we provide uh, to understand how your application Application is performing at uh, critical business hours. Uh, the examples go on and on, but SLAs are basically the legal language that accompany the dollars that we spend when we buy a product or service. So those are pretty simple. I'd put that at the top of our SL pyramid. So the way that we actually make sure that we're achieving our SLAs, the legal obligations that we make are by setting some SLOs, uh, right? So if I have a general idea or if I have a general legal agreement that says we are going to have a high availability for API, then we might set our availability threshold at 99%. Now, often in the real world, we're, uh, that, that legal lease is higher than 99%, but SLOs are actual objectives for, say, availability or uptime. It is some, some hard measurable threshold by which you can say you are either in compliance or out of compliance of your SLA, whereas the SLA is, is general, just a higher higher level legal agreement. SLOs are also something that help us internally as engineering teams, technical folks, or even the non-technical folks, the, the business analysts and everybody else in operations. Uh, it also helps us understand whether we are in compliance or out of compliance of meeting the promises or the obligations that we've made uh, to our customers. Going back to our original example of uh, say you have some API and somebody wants real-time uh, stock quotes, then I might have uh, some expectation for a, an, uh, a reasonable amount of errors that we can return for any requests with a, a payload that we expect. So if someone sends, again, 10 requests per second and every one of those requests has a payload that we expect to our endpoint, then maybe our SLO is to have a good response rate of 99%. That means that if less than 99% of the responses back have some type of error due to some quirk or something going wrong in our back end, then we are out of compliance with our SLA. So how do we actually measure our SLOs though? How do we keep track of how well we are meeting our service level objectives? And we go down another step in our SL pyramid and that is by using SLIs. SLIs are service level indicators. Uh, these are actual uh, metrics, charts, graphs that we use to measure our compliance within an SLO. So if I have a service level objective to be at 99% availability or to have a 99% good response rate, then I need some tools to actually measure, one, uh, the total amount of requests or responses that are being sent or received, and then I need a, need a way to also measure uh, whether the, those requests are good or bad and keep track of those over time and report on those. One of the ways that we can do that very easily is with something like Lightstep. We're an observability platform and it's very novel for us to actually look at any particular permutation of events. And so we can be hyper specific and say, knowing that some customer and each of our customers, we, we might actually have different SLAs and different SLOs that we're trying to achieve for that customer. We can actually slice the performance, the availability and the good response rates of any particular API or set of systems using something that we call a stream in Lightstep. And then we can report on the quality of that system 
over time, alert off of it, uh, etc. Using good tooling uh, can actually enable you to not have to worry about meeting or being out of compliance of any contractual obligation because you always have a history of, of data that supports that. And more importantly, you have tooling that enables you to answer these questions very easily. You might have been in the position where someone asked you, hey, can you prove that your system looks like X, Y, or Z uh, a week ago or, or a month ago, and then you've had to go and build the data set or look at uh, data that didn't really fit that criteria and try to build a story. If you have an observability platform, something like LightStep, which is able to very easily look at every set of events that your system is emitting and build a useful high cardinality time series uh, for any particular slice of, of data or events, then you don't have that problem. In any case, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're someone who is new to looking at tooling to enable yourself to maintain or adhere to uh, your SLAs, SLOs, and SLIs, definitely check out LightStep. Uh, we are the best observability platform out there. Totally biased, but um, if you have more questions, reach out to me at forest at lightstep.com or you can just take a look for yourself at lightstep.com. We'd love to hear from you either way. Leave your thoughts down in the comments and check out our other videos while you're here.